Praise the Lord. We made it 21 days together. And I'm sure that you had some battles. I'm sure that times you wanted to give up, but you pushed through and you made it to the very end. I am so proud of you. And even if you faltered, but you got back up and kept going, great job. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to celebrate the victory. Because Jesus said, when you ask, you receive. When you seek, you find. When you knock, the door is open. And so we believe we don't pray in vain. We pray to the God who answers. Amen. I want you to say this with me. God answers prayer. All right, let's say it together. God answers prayer prayer. And so don't get frustrated. Don't lose the victory. Now you're going to walk out and see the manifestation of those things that you have prayed for and believed for. All right, we're going to take communion together. So if you need to pause this video and go get some bread and juice, do that right now. But if you already have it in front of you, let's continue on together, taking communion, celebrating the reason why we have victory, which is Jesus himself. Now, I have my wafer here. I'm holding it in my hand. And I want to just read this to you. It's such a powerful scripture because the reason we have victory is because Jesus gave us himself. And so let's read this. What then, this is Romans 8, starting in verse 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son. So the father, the father who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? God is a God who gives generously and graciously. You know, sometimes I think in religion, you know, some people say, just be happy that Jesus died for you and thank the Lord that Jesus died for us. But that's not the only, he didn't just say, I'm going to die for you. Just be happy. He said, I'm going to die for you, forgive you of your sins. And so that you can walk in dominion and power that you no longer are you bound by the flesh, bound by your own passions, bound by your own mind. No, Jesus died for us. So we can not only celebrate him, but also walk in power and walk in victory and walk in the answer to prayer. So hold up that that communion wafer, the piece of bread that you have, and we're going to remember the body of Jesus. The reason why we can have victory, the body of Jesus. He offered himself. He became a curse for us so that we would not have to be under a curse, but that we are under a blessing. We are under the blessing of our Father. You know, in his body was cut the stripes for our healing. By his stripes, we are healed. We are healed by what he gave to us. The sacrifice that was once and for all was in the body of Jesus. And so let's thank the Lord for the body of Jesus, that he took our place. So Father, we thank you that you did not even hold back your son, but you gave him generously. And so God, we thank you. Lord, I know that some have been praying for major breakthrough in their health, and we just declare that by your stripes we are healed. Lord, some, God, Lord, they have been working, uh, uh, walking under a generational curse and other things, and that's been broken in Jesus' name. And I declare over you, you walk in the blessing of the Lord because of the body of Jesus. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for the body. Lord, we thank you for the physical body of Jesus, but we also thank you for the spiritual body of Jesus. God, those who are once under the dominion of darkness, but have been brought now into the kingdom of God's Son, we thank you, God, for the body of Christ, men and women set free to be worshipers and lovers of God. So Holy Spirit, even right now, as we take communion together, we thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, I just say I need you. I need you more. Jesus, I need you more. And I thank you. I thank you that we are set free. All right, take all of it and receive in your body healing and freedom. The same way he, he took the bread, it says after supper, he took the cup. 
That was his blood. That was the new covenant. He was about to spill the very precious life of the Son of God. God who now tabernacled in human flesh would now spill the very blood of God. Friend, we don't have a promise set on, on, the, on the blood of bulls and goats. In the Old Testament, they'd have to sacrifice over and over and over and over. If you read about how Solomon would sacrifice, he would sacrifice thousands of animals at a time. One drop of Jesus' blood sealed a new covenant. One drop of Jesus' blood was more powerful than any other blood shed because it was the shed blood of God who was innocent in the flesh. He who had no sin became sin for us that we might become right with God. So Lord, I, I thank you right now for the blood. Lord, I, I, I thank you for the cleansing, the forgiving, I thank you that you give us a covenant that's not sealed in the blood of bulls and goats. Lord, it's not sealed in imperfect men, but it, the one who was and is perfect and by your blood. And Lord, right now, even now, I say, Lord, I thank you for the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Lord, we just rejoice in the blood. Lord, we rejoice in what you've given to us. We rejoice, God. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. I thank you, Lord, for the blood that brings forgiveness, brings cleansing. Thank you for the blood that sets us free. I thank you that the blood, when the blood is applied to any shackle, any mindset, it's broken. Thank you for the blood. Come on, just say that with me. Lord, thank you for the blood. Lord, thank you for the blood. Thank you. Lord, I need the blood applied to every area of my life. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Your precious blood. Lord, I even just thank you, even on that cross, as your body hung and your blood was spilt out, you said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Lord, I thank you for your sacrifice. I'm in need of you, Lord. I love you, God. Come on, just worship him for a moment. Lord, we love you. We honor you. Thank you, God. We look to you. God, we look to you. We look to you, God. You are our healer, our savior, our provider, our friend, our lover, our wonderful comfort, our king, we love you. Mighty God, everlasting Father, we give you praise and we thank you right now for the blood. We give you glory. Let's drink all of it. Hallelujah. We just worship you, Lord. Wash me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you. We thank you for the time that we had and we're, we're desiring more, but thank you. We love you. We give you praise. And Lord, every answer to prayer, every breakthrough, every prodigal home, every life saved, every heart refreshed and renewed, every everything, God, we lay it at your feet. We lay it at your feet. Jesus, I lay my life at your feet. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Just worship the Lord. He's faithful. God bless you. Jesus is King. Amen.